What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am so freaking stoked for today's video. We're chatting about the new Buff Bunny Dream House collection that's launching May 13th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <sighs> Buff Bunny's in their fun, bright, pink, glamorous era right now. First it was Sugar Rush. I was like, okay, this is my favorite collection that Buff Bunny has ever dropped. Then Cake came along. I was like, oh, tough runner up, man. And now we have Dream House. In today's video, we will start by checking out the brief. This is what Buff Bunny gave me. This goes over the collection as a whole, all the details you need to know, and every piece that will be available, including the color options. From there, I'll be sharing with you what I have here today. These are the selections I personally made. These were my favorites from what I saw, and I hope you guys like them too. Right over here, you can find my measurements. I'll also have them in the description box below to help you out in case you need them. And as always, my code GATA does say you 10% off at checkout. So feel free to use that. Thank you so much if you do. It also does help support this channel big time. Now let's go ahead and dip into this. Don't forget to subscribe. We have Buff Bunny here on this channel every single month. I'm excited. Let's do this. So the Dreamhouse collection, as you guessed, is pretty much Barbie themed without saying it. Okay, we're not gonna say it because that's copyright and copyright sucks. I don't think I ever had a Barbie dream house. <laughs> If you were a Barbie girl, what was your favorite thing that you had as a kid from Barbie? I do have to say it was my hot pink convertible. There was a phase in my childhood where I got my little brother into Barbie with me. I demanded he played with me. And it was to the point that I got him to like it so much that I would literally catch him playing with the Barbies without me there. I feel like this collection came right in time for the Barbie movie. Is anybody going to see that? I wasn't necessarily excited about the Barbie movie. I was like, eh, I'll, I'll probably end up seeing it. But then I saw Ryan Gosling was in it and I was like, buy me the ticket right now, y'all. <laughs> Here's the fabrics that they use in this collection. Nothing new, so it's the same fabrics we're used to seeing. Check out these color patterns though. Oh, that top row though. Let's go ahead and scroll on down. Do you see that chroma pink game changer backpack? I actually grabbed one of those. Now I already have a game changer backpack in black, so I've been skipping those. Every time they come out with them, I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever, I got it. But when I saw the chroma pink though, I was like, huh. It is so hot pink. It's the hottest pink in this entire collection is that chroma pink backpack. And you can see it from the freaking moon. Now let's see exactly what's dropping on launch day. To the left hand side of the pictures is where you can see the colors that they will be releasing in these individual pieces. We're looking at the snatched legging and short, legacy legging, that's my baby right there. The BBL seamless short, the BBL seamless legging, legacy four incher. Now I wanna make mention of some Thing, in case you're looking at the bra that I'm wearing right now, this is their fashion print and I'm obsessed with it. Please keep in mind, the only bottoms that are coming in this fashion print to match this bra are the legacy four inch shorts. The Rosa scallop legging. That scallop design, we are gonna hit that hard in today's video. Legacy six inch short, obviously my preferred length, but they didn't have the fashion print in that one, so I couldn't get it. The Rebel legging. Lifesaver short, got a couple of them to chat about. Rosa Scallop sports bra to match the legging. Synergy seamless sports bra. The reversible sports bra, that is what I'm wearing right now. I got three of them. The Moonstone legging, the fashion sports bra. Moonstone sports bra. Revolution sports bra. Rainforest crop, I almost said Rainforest Cafe right there. BBL reversible sports bra to match the leggings. And last but not least, the spice crop jacket. Over here you can find the FAQs. Guys, feel free to pause whenever you need, if you need to really read things through. The FAQs just go over whether or not certain pieces have changed since previous launches. Let's go ahead and start with the scallop set because this is the set I was getting the most questions about. So let's start with the legging. Now these are both Rosa pieces. This is the Rosa legging, Rosa sports bra. This is in the color Miami Vice. This entire set's made out of their new brief fabric. It's my favorite. I do believe this is one of their most popular fabrics. It's a very brushed soft fabric. According to their brief, this fits like the traditional Rosa legging, but waistband is bonded throughout, so will feel more compressive than usual to ensure no rolling when walking, or wrinkling for that matter, and I can absolutely vouch for that. When I had these pieces up on Instagram, this was the question. This band, this scallop design, how does it hold up? I walked all around the resort we stayed at, and there was no rolling involved. This waistband stays put. But with that being said, it is a little bit tough to get past my hips 
Once you do, you're fine. It's not going anywhere. But this piece, this band, just the waistband, is one fabric. It's not double layered. So this is about the extent of the stretch right here. Not super stretchy. I actually did feel like this legging was slightly tight around the glutes too. According to Buff Bunny, they're saying that these leggings, the Rosa Scallop leggings, are the least compressive out of every single legging in today's launch. I don't really agree with that. I think the legacy are a little bit less compressive. That's just how it's fitting me though, okay? Every single thing in today's video is in my true size small. I would stick to my true size small again if you're in between size up because this waistband's no joke. The Nubri fabric on me is usually very squat proof. This was no different. You do have the Buff Bunny logo printed right on the back of the waistband. It's just a silver reflective logo. I was okay in the CT department because I wore undies. So these wear with underwear. Without underwear, you're asking for the dreaded CT. Overall light to moderate compression. Again, the most compression is gonna be right in this band. So same deal here. Nothing bunches, nothing wrinkles with this scallop design. I think it's really pretty and I'm happy to see them dropping it in this particular color. It just flows well with this. Relatively thick sports bra, like a lot of buff bunnies. Crisscross backing, it is non-adjustable. You do have removable pads. There's a nice moderate coverage too. It's not too low cut. It's definitely not high neckline. Just your normal scoop neck. Very comfortable with my size small. Now the tightest part is in fact where the scallop band meets the rest of the bra. So that seam right there might be a little bit snug. At the same time, it does help with its support level. So I would give this an overall moderate support. Let's quickly chat about the BBL Seamless. The BBL Seamless sports bra, which is reversible. Don't forget, sometimes I forget and then I'm surprised. I'm like, oh yeah, I have another option there. I also grabbed the BBL Seamless leggings. Now this is in the charcoal color. The majority of the color selection in this range were in the shorts and I knew that I wouldn't really use them. So I stuck with the dark leggings. Can't have too many dark black leggings. So this is a charcoal color. You do have a marl breakup throughout. I noticed they switched the band up. We have a cross waistband in the front. Everything else about it is the same. You still have the sewn in logo on the back. Still makes the glutes pop, dude. A very compressive waistband indeed. The hip to waist ratio was on point with these leggings. I just feel like I wish they were a little bit less compressive at the waist. Then these would be perfect. Minus the fact that they are pretty sheer when you squat. But I can't tell, you guys let me know. Check out this footage. Do they look sheer to you? With this fabric, it is extremely stretchy. I'm talking the, not the waistband, but the rest of the legging. It's just that material that's extra wicking, very good for sweating, but not necessarily good for squat proof. Not very cellulite friendly. And it's a shame because I really like these leggings. This set, ever since they came out with it from the last launch, I've been glued to it for the gym, but I don't know, I just can't get behind that material knowing it's that sheer. If you're in between size up in the leggings, I'm saying that waistband is real compressive, so sizing down, I wouldn't dare. The sports bra is a different story. I love this sports bra. I love that it's reversible. I think it's super flattering. One day you can have a little coverage with a peekaboo keyhole. The next you can just turn it around and give it a V cut. When it comes to the sports bra, true to size as well. In between is when I would probably say size down. I think you can get away with sizing down in this one. I don't think you could go wrong with this, especially if you want to mix and match, but most importantly, it's not sheer. To top it off, of course, this is the spice jacket crop I was talking about. This is a full on mesh. The stretch is where it's at. There's no pockets, a very simple crop jacket for the gym. The hood is huge. You do have two thumb holes. Overall, really great sport jacket for the gym. I love this type because it's super breathable. So even if you wanted to wear a sports bra, I also think with this style, you can totally rock it outside the gym as well. It adds a nice sporty look to any outfit. It is coming in black and white. Spice jackets, very, very true to size. If you're in between, you can size down. It's so stretchy. I grabbed not one, but two of the Lifesaver shorts. We have Aqua Dream and Orange Soda. Who loves orange soda? Ashley loves orange soda. <laughs> Keaton and Kel, anybody? They're coming out with a movie, did you see? I'm excited for that. I got really excited because I thought they were like the flow shorts. Do you remember when Buff Bunny came out with their swim about a year or two ago? Here's why they're not. It's different in the way that the lining sits. 
The Flow Shorts had a very, very lightweight lining that literally laid seamlessly over your thighs to the point where it felt like nothing was touching you. There was no restriction, there was no dig. I do feel like in these Lifesaver shorts, I can feel the seam around my thighs. It bugs me a little bit, but these are really super cute, lightweight shorts. They are, they're very, very lightweight, super breathable for the summertime. You have a very stretchy draw cord around the waist, cinches in nicely. It has that waterfall design to the side. It cascades so nicely over your legs. So I think there's a lot of potential in these shorts. You do have one pocket underneath inside the lining on the one side. I feel like the overlay at the back looks a little bit big, a little diapery. That's why I wouldn't suggest sizing up. I couldn't imagine it being any bigger back here and just hanging around. But the problem is with that little bit of cinch around the thighs, automatically I'm gonna wanna size up, but I wouldn't because the overlay is just a little too big back here. To match those Aqua Dream Lifesaver shorts, I grabbed the Synergy sports bra, all right? I mixed it up a little bit. I went with a seamless sports bra. Here's how they look next to each other. They're not quite the same shade, so keep that in mind. <laughs> this bra does have a moral breakup. It has a really interesting, very hard to see, ribbed contour that breaks up the chest, goes right around it underneath. The thick straps are so comfortable. Now, this is a bra I could wear all day and it not annoy me. The backing's adorable. With that being said, there's no dig, very light to moderate support. You do have the logo sewn into this as well. I'm happy to see them sewing the logos into their seamless sets. And not to mention, it is very stretchy. Look, damn. Let's chat about some reversible sports bras. I actually grabbed this color to match my orange soda shorts. So this one is the Aqua Dream slash orange soda. I like it because I was like, you know what? I can go with either short that I want. I can either mix match with both or I could do one solid set. The thing with these reversible bras is one side will always have the outline of the inside color. The other side, one straight color. This is the I don't play side, okay? Now these bras have no padding. They're relatively thick, but not necessarily something I'm wearing to a gym, because if it's cold, you will see your nip go through it. Okay, it'll stick out like a porcupine. I like this because it gives a light support. It's just what I need. It's a very simple, easy throw on, very comfortable for all day wear. Even these straps, there's really no digging. It is very true to size. If you're in between though, I would suggest sizing down. I still think even though they tweaked this bra and put less material underneath, I still feel like there's a little bit of extra material. <laughs> But I think these reversible bras are fun. So I got one in this color. I actually grabbed this reversible bra is in the color Party Purple. Now we're introducing Party Purple here. The other side is freaking Onyx Black though. I wasn't totally happy to see that because now I'm thinking Halloween, thinking vampires and I'm trying to enjoy the summer first. I think a white would have been so much better or even a neon green. How about it? The last one right here. This is the fashion print on the one side and on the inside it is Miami Vice, so straight pink. Speaking of which, we're gonna have to go and grab those shorts right now. Legacy four incher fashion print. When I saw that these had a white liner, I was like, man, these are gonna fade out, aren't they? To my absolute surprise, they did not. But what it did do <laughs> is after squatting a bunch of times, it did roll. These rolled up and you do see the white lining. So there's that. They're really good around the glutes and very comfortable for all day wear. Now this is not necessarily something I'm wearing to the gym, you guys know that, but definitely wearing out and about like to the boardwalk going on a vacation like I did. That's when I'll wear this. Four inch fashion print is great and all, but your girl prefers six inch. Period. Party Purple and Miami Vice. This way, with all the pinks going on in this collection, everything I have will go with these shorts if I need it to. Party Purple for my party people. I had to at least get one full set. So this is where I'm going to be using the reversible sports bra to match these shorts. I prefer the six inch because they don't cinch into my thighs as much. I like the better coverage and they don't roll. These really don't roll. I think my true size small is just perfection. But if you're in between, if you prefer a little more compression, you could size down because they're so stretchy or you could size up for a little more room because there's a nice grab. I never deal with any unnecessary wrinkling. This material is very good at grabbing. So to match the Miami Vice legacy shorts, I went ahead and grabbed a fashion sports bra. I have a feeling this is gonna be a hitter. I really do. It's something about this. I think because it's brand spanking new, it's never before seen. 
It's innovative, like check out this backing. I think this would make for such a cute summer style crop top. Like if you wore it with jeans, for example, or a skirt, I think there's a lot you can do with this. Now this is made out of their Elysium fabric. So that's what's giving it a little bit of shine. It looks plasticky, almost like a Halloween costume, I like to say. This gives a more polished Barbie look. Am I right? Not something I'm gonna work out in. Really none of these pieces other than this seamless pieces will I work out in. Everybody knows that about me. Buff Bunny and I, we have a great relationship. Buff Bunny's more fashion, athleisure for me. Buff Bunny claims that this bra is perfect for smaller busts, so keep that in mind. Overall moderate support. Now I can't lie to you, I have not worn this all day, so I don't know how the straps will hold up in terms of comfort, but there is a ton of stretch in the straps, so I think you should be okay in that department. This lay is just fabric and it's not a band. This is just a nice overlay fabric. Last but not least, the Game Changer backpack. Look at this baby glow. You have a hidden food compartment where you can put your meal prep. You have not one, but two side compartments. So on each side, you have a compartment for a water bottle, and on top of that, a zipper as well. In the back, you actually have a hidden laptop sleeve. The zipper blends right in so you would never know it's there. Here you have a bunch of mesh pockets. You have one big one, you actually have another water bottle holder inside here. So there's a good amount of space for all your goodies. This is more of a plasticky kind of material, not a canvas that's gonna absorb. So if you spill anything on it, you should be okay. It's really good for rainy weather and things like that. This is what the chroma pink backpack looks like with the Miami Vice color, okay? This is more of a baby pink, it's more straight neon. All right guys, what on earth are we thinking about the new Buff Bunny Dreamhouse collection? Comment down below, what was your favorite piece that I shared in today's video and or what do you look in a snag anything drop a comment with your thoughts if there's anything I didn't touch base on that you're wondering about comment down below and I will get back to you again thank you so much if you use my code Gata at checkout to save yourself 10% off and help support this channel keeping these videos coming your way every single month I really appreciate it thank you guys so much for being here I love you and I will catch you in my next video